Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys have never been here before, my name is China. And if you have, once again, welcome, welcome. So guys, today we're going to get into the craze. As you probably have seen in the title, this is going to be about Middle Eastern fragrances. So we had like an uptick in Middle Eastern fragrance craze in the past, I don't know, a year and a half, two years or so. I have been a little bit late to the party, but I have heard about popular Middle Eastern fragrances that are really, uh, you know, making a wave in the fragrance community. I like the fact that they're affordable and all these things, but I really needed to get my nose on them to see what is this about? Like, are you telling me that you can get the quality, you can get the lasting power, power, beast mode, all of that in like a $30 fragrance. I needed to check it out. So guys, we're just gonna go through some fragrances today that I did purchase. We're gonna just test them. Not test them because I've already tested them, but we're going to kind of review them and I'm gonna tell you what I think about them um, and if they're really worth it. Because like I said, this Middle Eastern fragrance craze has, has really taken over the fragrance community. We need to talk about it. So if you're interested in some of the fragrances that I've purchased and hearing my thoughts about them, please stay tuned. Alrighty guys, so the first one we're gonna go ahead and talk about, get out of the way. This one has literally swept the nation. It is super popular. I am once again late to the game, but I recently picked this up and it is Camera. So this is Camera by Latafa. I know that this house has uh, been really popular recently. This was compared to, I believe, what was it called by Killian? Um, Angel Share. Angel Share. I smelled that one a while ago, but it's been so long. I can't really, I don't know. I can't speak to comparisons or anything like that. Now, this one, I just got to spray it for reminder. Um, so let me say the first time I got this fragrance and I sprayed it. I had sm smelled so many fragrances the d same day that I smelled this one. I, I didn't really, it didn't do anything for me. Like I was like, it's nice, but it was just not what I thought it would be. I thought it was gonna be really deep, very, very deep, dense type of fragrance, very cold weather fragrance. And that's not what I was getting. It's still not what I get as far as cold, cold weather and not very deep. I'm not getting this super deep type of dense fragrance. Now, as I continue to wear this, I have been wearing this a lot. Uh, I picked it up maybe a week and a half ago and I've worn it to bed a whole bunch of times. Um, I've worn it out. I've been kind of holding on to those kind of cool days that we still get in spring just to wear this fragrance. This is really good. Now this one has what I pick up in it. I know it has dates and cinnamon and nutmeg and like a lot of different notes. Tuberose is in there as well. But this one smells, started to smell very kind of cinnamon apple pie to me. This one started giving me very tasty. I don't know if it's a breadiness that I get in here or if I just have that in my mind that it's smells like edible apple cinnamon hot apple cinnamon pie, but not in a very literal way. It's not super literal. It's clearly gourmand, but it's not very, very literal. And this one is a great performer. Uh, I get, I feel like I get a pretty good projection out of this, like medium to, you know, high projection. I get a good wearing time. I don't, I hate to use numbers because I'm going to be honest with you. I, Sometimes I don't, I'm not like looking at how long, I just can still smell it a while later. And so I just feel like, okay, well, yeah, it's, it's lasting a long time, but I usually pay attention to when things are just disappearing on me, but this one definitely has longevity to it. And it's a very rich fragrance, but not in the way that I expected. It is more rich in this decadent way, but airy quality, like, just airy quality and it smells very good. Like I said, I've been wearing this to bed cause it's just that comforting. My husband likes it as well. I love when he loves things because I love smelling, you know, I love wearing fragrances and when he loves it, I'm like, okay, cool, cool. And I also heard that this one was very compliment getting. Now I have not worn it out a whole lot because once again, it's kind of going from spring, like we're in springtime, we have more hot days. So I haven't been wearing this like that but I can see how this can be very compliment getting. Very, it still smells unisex too. It doesn't smell super feminine. If anything, maybe a bit more feminine, but I can see a man wearing this as well. Very good. So Kamara, I do have to say A plus for Kamara. I can see me keeping this in my collection, 
especially at the price point. I think I paid $30 for this maybe, 20 something, $30. You know, I don't, I don't, I will say about the booziness cause I've heard about this boozy vibe. I don't get a lot of booziness from this. I get this, yeah, nutmeggy, cinnamon, apple pie type of vibe from it. And it's like warm. I wouldn't even say hot apple pie. I'd say this warm apple pie. That's what I get from this fragrance. So yes, Kamra, I get it, you know? I get it, Kamra was definitely a vibe. So let's go ahead and move into the next fragrance. Let's see. Okay guys, so the next fragrance that I got, strong, second in the category of how much I've heard about this fragrance. And this one is Nebras or Nebras by Latafa as well. I love the bottle in this, all of the bottles, this one especially is, is has weight to it and everything. So I was shocked at the presentation uh, for once again, the price point, very, very, very good. Just in general, very good presentation, not even just for the price point, but this one I heard about a lot as well. And it had some notes in it that really stood out to me, Gourmand uh, as well, but this was really popular like in the fall winter time. And yes, so this one is your chocolatey fragrance. I get that right in the top. I, I can smell chocolate. Um, I know the way chocolate smells, but this one has a little bit more of a cocoa, I wanna say like dusted powder coke chocolate. Like it doesn't, it's more airy. Now I will say this one even morphs into this milky, milky, dusted, beautiful, gourmand, tasty, dessert light fragrance. Like very beautiful. I can, I can see a lot of people liking this as well. And once again, unisex, but feminine leaning for me. Feminine leaning. Now I do have Billie Eilish. I know this has orange orange in it as well. I don't know all the notes, but um, I know it has orange in it as well. I will say for, let me actually look at that. I know that, let me actually look at this. What was it? Yeah, cacao, red berries, orange, vanilla, sugar, tonka bean, amber. So I do get the, the orange chocolate play. Um, and I have Billie Eilish, uh, number one. Now that sip profile, that has orange and chocolate in it as well. And that one I really love. Um, I like that scent profile, but I feel like I don't need a whole lot of fragrances with this scent profile. To me, I only need like one. Like I don't need a whole lot of orange chocolate profiles, even though I love the, I love the scent profile. I just don't need a whole lot of them. I will say that this profile to me just smells a bit better. It's the price is better. I think the packaging, I mean, I like her packaging as well, but this was very beautiful packaging, but it's just a scent profile. It's the Eilish orange chocolate is a little bit more dense. This one is a bit more like, it just feels more um, that it comes together just easier, like more effortless and more airy quality, just a little bit richer. Like, you know, it's, it smells like a better quality. That's what I mean. Like it smells just like a better quality of the orange chocolate, not as dense, a bit more grown up. That one smells a little bit more youthful to me. This one smells more grown up. You get the, the orange and the chocolate and the berry like quality, but it is a bit more grown up. So guys, this one I wore to bed too. Um, just these gourmand fragrances, I love wearing them to bed because they just make me feel so cozy and warm. But this was another hit for me, but I can see kind of taking Eilish out of my collection because it had that orange chocolate and moving this one into my collection and letting it be like the only one that I have, unless I find something that's even better, but this scent profile definitely, yes, this one was a good one. Okay guys, so the next one that I have is more, we're out of fall, winter. <laughs> cause I'm late on that, but we're more into spring, summer now. And this one is a mango forward fragrance. I heard, I don't, I forgot her. I forgot her name, but she's a YouTuber here um, or she's a fragrance YouTuber here. Um, I'll put her, her channel um, up on the screen if I can find it. But as soon as I heard her talk about this fragrance, I needed to get it. This is Aja Yeb. Um, I don't know who it's by. Eee. I don't really know who it's by, but guys, this is the bottle and it is a mango forward fragrance. When I heard her talk about it, um, it was compared to God of Fire, I believe by Steven, Steven, 
I forgot his last name. I need to try this. I had never tried God of Fire before. And I know that that was a really big one in the fragrance community, but this one was super affordable, like 28 bucks. And she talked about great performance and how great it was. Now, this one, let me tell you what I get. So this one, I can definitely smell in the opening, it's like a punch. It's like a punch. This one is not, this one doesn't start off very smooth for me. Uh, it starts pretty heavy and pretty punchy. I get a greenness in the beginning. I get a fruity greenness. And then the, the mango starts to develop and starts to smooth out. But that's what I get in this fragrance. It is sweet, fruity, grown up mango but definitely grown up a bit fresher and green i get green here like the like the mango isn't the mango is not like fully fully ripe uh here because it is quite green and i believe there's something else in the top that stood out to me i don't know if it was like a bergamot okay it's a uh, lemon and orange so lemon and orange I don't know. I don't know that I'm getting that, but it is, it's, it's pretty punchy in the beginning. And this one, now this one, I get some, some, some beast mode with, and I definitely get longevity with, um, I will say I'm still kind of working with this one because I feel like it does get a little bit like harsh for me. It gets a little bit harsh. I wanted it to be a bit smoother, but it is very good. It's very good. I think it's a it's a good mango fragrance, especially for the price. I'm going to get some more wears out of this, but it does kind of get a little bit. It's just a little bit like scratchy, if that makes sense. Um, a little bit scratchy. It has the oud in the base as well as sandalwood and jasmine, musk, amber. And it's a good one. It's a good one. I just my wearing experience, I did find it to like love in the beginning and then it started it started getting maybe a little bit too much for me but a very well done quality fragrance um if you like a mango and you like a bit of a more green like mango and you want it you know other people to smell you and stuff this one has good projection um very good it's just more of an adult uh fragrance for sure i think maybe that oud maybe makes it a little bit richer but I feel like I can feel the Middle Eastern quality to this fragrance, like very rich and very, you know, upscale and a little bit, uh, just very, just, just different. Like, you know, not straight, not straightforward, but very good. Very good. Um, this one I'll say I had, like I said, middle, a little bit of trouble with it but I'm gonna play with it more and see how I feel about it because it was a good one. Okay guys, but last but not least, I have a fragrance that this was my most recent buy. I heard about this one as well, saw the bottle, heard it talked about a little bit, but I did not want to hear too much about it so that it wouldn't sway my opinion or anything like that. And this one is called Marina. And look at this bottle, like the peach, peachy pink. It's called Marina and it's by Paris Corner. And love the presentation, love the bottle here. Now, this one is my newest Middle Eastern fragrance. And now, right out of the bottle, I pick up this orangey, sparkling, it's like I want to say fruity, but it is it's really good. It's like a, it's like a burst of, I, I, I feel, I, I get more of an orangeyness right out. And then I'm maybe like 15 seconds in, this starts to round out and take on this, I feel kind of, it, it smells very edible to me that I would drink it or eat it or something like that. Um, I saw this that this that it was compared to like an iced tea or something like that and I don't know that iced tea is how I would necessarily describe it but it is very good. I believe there's peach in here, there's watermelon. It is very summery, vibrant. It's very joyful. The fragrance is fruity but i do think that this is more grown up as well um on the skin it smells so good 
Now, good projection for this one. Good projection. I'm still kind of playing with the lasting power. I don't think it's the, the longest lasting fragrance, but I don't think it disappears very quickly. It just, it smells really, really good. This one, as soon as I smelt it, I knew, I, I was like, oh, my husband's gonna love this one because he just loves fruity fragrances so much. But the watermelon, there's this cool watery quality to it. It's not dense. It's more airy, fruity, tasty, like very summer, very summer spring, very summer spring, very beautiful. Yeah, guys, I really like this one. Now I will say, I'm still playing around with this one and I'm hoping because I got a hint of a little bit of this, what are those like air fresheners that you hang in the car? <laughs> yeah, I got a little bit of like this air freshener vibe and I was like, no, um, because I can smell just how good it is, but something in there gave me a little bit of an air freshener thing to it. And I don't want that to be the case. So I did get a little hint of that, but I also loved it so much. I loved it so much. So I don't want that to, to be in my mind. Let's go ahead and get that out of my mind because it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. I just wanna see even some more of the notes that really capture my attention in here. Um, Oh, okay. Here's the nose. Uh, tropical orange. So tropical orange, grapefruit, uh, grapefruit, pear, bergamot, jasmine, peach, musk, black currant, and amber, and watermelon. So yeah, it is, orange is definitely what I get in the, in the top. And when it says tropical, I think that's the play. It's, it is, it does feel very spring, summer, but tropical, not, it's, it's beautiful. This one is beautiful. I love it. And for this price point, you cannot beat it. You cannot beat it. So I will definitely say spring, summer, beautiful, tropical, fruity fragrance. Yes. Very, very good. Um, very good. Okay guys, so that is gonna be the end of today's video. I would love to know down below if you guys have tried any of these fragrances, if you have any Middle Eastern fragrances, what are your favorites? If you want to tell me about some that you would like me to pick up and review, please go ahead and put them um, down in the description box below. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.